Welcome back to the 11th season of Corey Reads. Today, I already read Joseph had a little overcoat and there was an old lady who was holding the chick. And now it's time to read the third and final book and it's called The Night Parade. This is a story about these children wearing pajamas going an adventure what's in your head. And that's The Night Parade. And I cannot wait to read it to you once again. Let's get to it. The Night Parade by Lily Roscoe. Pictures by David Walker. I love, really love that book. Have you ever wondered what happens at night while mothers and fathers lie sleeping? Children wake up. They climb out of their beds. Some crying, some running, some leaping. As the moon shines down, they escape into town. To the night parade, they go sneaking. Have you ever been to the night parade where children dance under the stars? The streets are all empty, no grown-ups in sight, as they skip around sidewalks and cars. Their voices rise high as their skin sing to the sky. Sweet songs about faraway places. They make cakes for the moon with an old wooden spoon and get frosting all over their faces. Have you ever been to the night parade where children play games in the dark? They build castles of sand, they paint pictures by hand, they turn somersault, flip through the park. Ringing bells, stamping feet, banging drums to the beat, flying banners of silver and blue. They wear costumes and hats, bark like dogs, purr like cats, holding hands as they march two by two. Have you ever been to the night parade where children read mountains of books? They circle around, falling soft to the ground, nestling closely to have good luck. They tell magical tales about mermaids and whales, and creatures who live in the deep. But with each happy ending, there is no more pretending. The children are falling asleep. No more laughs, no more screams. They are ready for dreams. The night parade comes to an end. As dark turns to dawn, the boys and girls yawn and say goodbye to their friends. Without a sound, they are homeward bound, waving up to the fading moon. Safe in their beds, they lay down their heads and secretly whisper, Night, night. See you soon. The end. That was an amazing book. And I hope you're going to be recommended to your child with reading it. And when we come back, I'd like to read the recap, all three books for today. And that's coming up next.